If I had a pound for every time someone asked me what custom tactics and player instructions I use in FIFA 17, I would be a pretty rich man. You know, throughout the year, it's been nothing but tweets, messages, comments on my videos asking me, you know, what tactics am I using? And my reply has always been, don't worry, there's a video coming soon explaining everything. And here it finally is. Now, you can try and use these for yourself, see if they work for you, or you can try, you know, slightly editing them and see if they help you improve your results in the weekend league. Remember, these are the tactics that, without two disconnects, would have qualified me for Paris. Without one disconnect, would have qualified me for Madrid. And these are also the tactics that have left me on 154 wins out of 160, heading into the final week of March. So anyway, let's get straight into it and look at these numbers. Now, any of you that watch you know, my streams or my videos will know that I am a very attacking player. So I understand some of these tactics may come across as a little bit strange, not your cup of tea, but give them the chance and let me know what you think of them. Anyway, firstly, build up play speed. Now, for this one, I use 75 because I find it's just, you know, the right balance of your players moving forward fast, but not too fast to the point where, you know, it starts to feel a little bit unbalanced. I think 50 is a pretty good value as well, but any higher than 75, and it doesn't feel right for me anyway. Passing next, and for this one, you know, there's really no, no point in changing this from 50. You change it much lower than 50, your players start running too short. You change it much higher than 50, they start running too long. If anything, if you want to change it, you want to be looking at 55 or 60. No more, there's no point. And now positioning for build-up play, organised is the one here. Free form simply doesn't work. If you give it away, you can get countered really easily. Organised, you know, will help you make more chances and it's just all round better than free form. Chance creation passing now, and this is basically how much risk your players take in making runs forward. I think anything below 50 and, you know, your players aren't getting forward enough, anything significantly above 50 and, you know, you're running the risk of getting counted. So I've found for this custom tactic that 50 is the perfect value and it works well for all formations. Crossing next, and as you all probably know, crossing is pretty dead in FIFA 17. You know, I wouldn't suggest on this any higher than 40. You know, I'd even suggest on having it as low as 20 because there really is no point in having all your players, you know, standing close to the goal waiting for a cross when just scoring crosses from open play isn't easy in FIFA 17. Shooting next, and this is where it does get a little bit interesting. I must admit, for a lot of this year, I did use 65, but I started to find with 65, my players stood you know, a bit too wide and a bit too far away from the goal, whereas with 40, they stand a lot more narrow and a lot more close at the goal in the perfect position to get the shots off and score goals. Positioning now, and this is another one where, you know, I see the majority of players do prefer to go with free form, but I feel on this game, free form, they do make some very strange runs, whereas with organised, you know, they don't really move out of position, they make more orthodox runs, and it is better for attacking, especially when people are sitting deep against you. Pressure now, and I can tell this is where some people are going to start thinking to themselves, what is going on? But 65 is the perfect number for me. Any higher than this, and you are running too much risk of your opponent getting in behind, but any lower than this, and it, you'll struggle to put enough pressure on the ball, so 65 is the perfect balance between the two. Aggression, and we do go with 65 again here, and this is all about my style of play and how I like to win the ball back as quick as possible. With 65 aggression, the minute they play a pass you know, into your half, you will have two defenders, you know, quite close to them, and that's how I like to play. I'm always trying to get the ball back as soon as possible. The final number is team width. Now, I believe this is another one you should never, ever change. There is no reason to change it any higher or lower than 50. I reduce it from 50, people start getting up my wings. I increase it from 50, people start getting through the middle of me. Just leave it on 50. It's perfectly fine and balanced. Last part of the custom tactics now, and this is without doubt a game changer, the defensive line. Offside trap on this game is without doubt better than cover. With cover, no matter how well you defend, you will always concede chances because of how your team lines up. Whereas with, with offside trap, your team pushes up, stays in the line and makes it harder for your opponent to get through you. I know a lot of pro players have drilled into everyone's head that offside trap being the default is an error by EA, but it's not. It is much better in my opinion. On to my player instructions now. My main belief with player instructions is the more player instructions you put on, the less balanced and natural your team feels. So you want to keep these to, you know, a bare minimum. Only put on the really necessary instructions. So obviously in the defence, you want both your fullbacks to stay back. They won't stay back all the time, I know, but they will stay back a lot more than when, you know, if you just have them unbalanced. With my three centre mids in the 4-3-1-2, 
I don't change anything on any of them. If I put any instruction on any of them, they all start to feel unnatural and it just doesn't feel right to me at all. The only change I'd make is if I'm using the diamond, I will tell my CDM to stay back, but apart from that, nothing. Again, my cam, no instructions at all. There's no need to tell it to stay forward or anything. There's just no point. And finally, on my strikers, the only instruction I'll put on them is getting behind. Press back line is a myth. I don't know why all the pro players do it. It does nothing but make your team feel worse. And I really don't understand why everyone does it. I think it's just something that's caught on and everyone just copies. And that is it. You now all know my custom tactics and player instructions that have given me a decent amount of success online in FIFA 17. If you've enjoyed the video or you feel like it's helped you in any way and you'd like to see more, drop a like and subscribe. Comment down below any questions you have about any of my tactics or instructions. And I'll hopefully see you tomorrow in my final recap of the month of March.